The Creatity CR6 Max is the biggest, the beefiest machine that we have at 3D Printing Store for our 3D printers. I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on the build and how it works and maybe is this machine for you. Let's dive down and see what this guy has to offer. First things first, I'm gonna talk about the build quality. Now I really, really like what Creality has done here. I really like that they're giving you two aluminum extruders on the front here for the bed, that the bed is nice and stable. This bed is not wobbling anywhere. With these two aluminum extrusions, you also have two separate belt tensioners in the front that you can always make sure that your belts are tight enough for your bed not to do any kind of missteps or anything like that. Then another thing that I really like that this printer has to offer for its build quality that other 3D printers miss out on or skip out on on machines that get this size is that behind these two extrusions over here we actually have support beams now what this does is when machines get this big for 3d printing once your nozzle gets to about this height over here and starts moving around it becomes very very wobbly and unstable and this causes a definite eyesore in your 3d prints it can even sometimes make your prints fail so they've given you these two beams at the back of here to structurally support the printer that there is no wobbling at the tippity top of this 3D printer. Then they've done some more cool stuff that we will get to as we go through this printer. First things first, how it works when it starts printing. You have a foldable filament spool holder over here which goes into a filament run out sensor. Now for those people who don't know what a filament runout sensor is, let me give you a quick breakdown on what it is and how it works. Basically a filament runout sensor is a detection device to see if you run out of filament. Now let me paint you a quick picture. You're about to leave for work in the morning and you want to start a 3D print and you don't know if you have enough filament because you're printing quite a big object. You have one of two options. You either don't print it at all or you risk it and you give it a go. You come back from work and you found out, oh no, your print is about that short from being completed. Now all that filament is now a waste. It's done, you cannot get that back. With a filament runout sensor, you can start that print in the morning and you don't have to worry because one of two things are gonna happen. Either you're going to have had enough filament and your print completes, or your filament ran out, but your sensor detected that you had no more filament left and it pauses the print. When you get home, you realize that it's not done, you put in some new filaments and you just press resume. Now, that whole piece that you printed is now no longer a waste because it will resume where it left off as soon as it detects that it gets some more filaments. From the filament runout sensor, we have our extruder motor. Now, I really like what they've done with this extruder motor. We've seen these kind of extruder gears on other machines like the CR10 Smart. I really, really like this. They're basically giving you a nice little lever at the back here for you to disengage or detension those two gears that pull your filament in. Then you don't have to hold anything while you're feeding in the filament, which is super nice. Once your filament goes through this Bowden tube over here into your nozzle, you can then lock it up and you're good to go. Speaking of the hot end nozzle, we can reach temperatures 260 degrees Celsius and the bed can reach a temperature of 90 degrees Celsius. Now I really like what they've done here with this hot end. It takes a standard MK8 nozzle, but what's nice about it is that this machine has auto bed leveling, but we don't see a BL touch on this guy anywhere. What this guy has is an automatic auto bed leveling sensor inside the nozzle system over here. So your nozzle is actually the, the leveler for the auto leveling system. What's nice about this is that you can break BL touches with the little pins, even the whole unit. There's no rewiring or any kind of upgrades or things like that. And it just takes a standard MK8 nozzle. So you're not buying a fancy nozzle next time you have to replace one. For people who don't know what an auto bed leveling is, Basically what it does is that it has a sensor like a BL touch or this fancy nozzle system and probes specific points on the bed that the machine inside internally can build a mesh. This mesh the machine then recognizes as its printing surface 
and gives it kind of an unstable because it detects exactly where it is. It gives it that it's not a complete flat surface. This means that when the machine starts printing, it detects that where it is busy going to, knows that it's the bed level is either too low or too high, and the printer actually compensates for that. One other thing that's really nice with this guy, the main thing that you interact with with this 3D printer is the display. Now this is a 4.3 inch color display over here. This display is where you start your prints, you choose what print you wanna do, you can do calibration tests, you can heat up your nozzle, you can do all that kind of stuff. So I really like that Creatly went the extra step to create a touch screen display over here that's actually enjoyable and responsive to use. On the left hand side of the machine over here you can see we have a micro USB or even an SD card port. Now what's nice about this is that they give you both options. On the right hand side of this guy you can see we have a hidden away drawer for your tools. Things like scrapers, snippers, extra nozzles, things like that. And it's really nice to have these things included. The people who do have printers that have it know how great it is. And the people who don't have prints that have it don't really understand. But it is a very, very nice thing to know. All your tools are right by your printer and you don't have to go and look around for where your stuff is. Go to our social media. We have Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. We have all kinds of social media over there. We'd really love to see you guys over there. If you want to see daily postings about this machine and all the other machines and new products that we have to offer, please subscribe to this video if you want to see future content. Leave a notification that you guys can get notified that we have new content coming out. I hope you have a great day. Let's see how this printer prints.